the housing market is crashing. There's a recession in the housing market and there's a housing bubble. Wait for prices to crash before you buy. Sell now before prices crash. Hey, I'm Sam Wilson with the Sam Wilson Home Selling Team at eXp Realty, and none of that is true. If that's the news you're looking for, turn this video off, go to Google or TV, because they're more than happy to frighten you into the sky is falling. It's just not happening, and that's why I bring you this market update for September of 2022 in the Denver residential real estate market from a real person who's actually looking at the data for you to tell you what's going on and why this isn't a crisis. There's no crisis and there shouldn't be one for the foreseeable future. And here's why. Let's go ahead and jump right into the statistics. As always, I bring you the real numbers and this is the best resource there is. The Denver Metro Association of Realtors Market Overview for August because these numbers come from the MLS, which is supported by CoreLogic. So these are statistics. This is what's actually happening. And yeah, it's not perfect. I mean, there's like new home sales that may not be included in here. Uh, and there's off market sales that may not be included in here. But for the most part, this is what drives the report and how we can interpret what's actually happening in the market. So let's go. First of all, Listings are up. Earlier this year, there were only 1,200 listings in the market. Now there's almost 7,000. Yeah, they're down month over month, but a quick note on that. We're in August. Well, the video is being made in September based on August data. Yes, of course, numbers are going to start coming down for seasonality. So if we look at number of listings and number of sales, this is what happens every year. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. More importantly, I want to focus on some numbers here. So the active listings have almost doubled since August of 2021. That's right, almost doubled since 2021. And that's great news for buyers, and it's not bad news for sellers. And here's why. There's a correlation here. We can't talk about listings doubling and um homes taking 19 days to sell instead of just four back in the beginning of the year without drawing a correlation between these. And the correlation here, or the maybe a better word is the reality here, is that it's still a seller's market. Sure, there's twice as many listings, but they're taking less than a month to sell, only 19 days. That is still a seller's market. So let me get this out of the way so you can see the number again. But here's the thing. A balanced market, according to the National Association of Realtors, is six months. That's 180 days. So this would tell you that we're still um, about, you know, 10 or 15 percent of what we need to see in order to have a balanced market. I'm here to tell you we're at about 25 percent. Based on my experience, 20 years in this market, if we were at four months of inventory, we'd be in great shape, okay? It would be a balanced market. So that's from, you know, let's call it the school of Sam, but this is based on my experience of a balanced market. Right now, we're seeing listings double, we're seeing sales come down, and we're seeing it take longer to sell for one main reason. Interest rates are back to, you know, what I'll call normal. We're at 6%. We hit like maybe six and a quarter earlier this week. Um, but this is more what you can expect for the foreseeable future with, with what's happening in the financial markets. Um, now, I can say that because the 50-year average mortgage rate is 8%. We're still 2% below that. And I reported last month that, you know, when we were at 5%, you might want to take advantage of it. A lot of people certainly did, but sales were still down. So with that said, we're also going to take a look at some uh, year-to-date trends, what's happening throughout the year, because this right here is simply uh, these numbers here are month over month, July to August. And these, to be clear, are August this year versus August last year. So 
of course there's some some changes um, but that's only a 30-day look at a 30-day look prior year i'm going to show you some trends in a minute prices are still up year over year so let me change this back to green because i think this is a good thing so when you're hearing in the news that you know prices are crashing there's a crash there's a bubble it's just not true prices this august versus last august they're still up a little bit yes they're coming down monthly but they're still up a little bit both average and median so that's good news for sellers except for one small period of time which we will get to right now this might be my favorite chart in this report you've seen me reference it before uh, a little get rid of that right there so look here's the deal april of 2022 was our peak ever in history these are the highest prices ever in the denver metro residential real estate market and they're trending down that's okay we need to get back to affordability we need to get back to more houses for buyers to choose from and we need to get back to some sanity when purchasing so this is helping us get there average prices are down nine percent today trending down nine percent versus the peak median prices are trending down but it's more like six percent trending down six percent versus the peak so I'm going to stay on this chart for, for a couple of more minutes and make you some offers. So one thing I want to point out, um, because in the spirit of transparency, if you bought during the first quarter of 2022, you bought at the peak. It's quite simple. So this is April, March, February, January look at the frenzy that was happening and i believe that was driven by demand of course but it was also driven by people wanting to purchase at the crazy three percent interest rates we had during this time actually they started back here and they went through here and you can see the effect of that so if you bought during this time you can't sell today for what you paid in March or April, probably even February. And anecdotally, we've been on some appointments in the past month where sellers bought during this time or even refied, and they can't sell without bringing some money to closing. So that's just a very short period of time though. That's the first quarter of 2022. If you bought any time before this, back through you know 2020 even well with the exception of the um the hard hit market in 2008 you're still above water you can still sell for more than you paid and that's why there's more equity in the market than ever in history except for this very short period of time draw the line i should make that line green draw the line anytime prior to that and you're fine the sky is not falling there's no crisis or bubble you still have plenty of equity to leverage so for sellers here's the differences and here's the offers so for sellers if you do choose to put your home on the market for the rest of 2022 which is a great time to sell and you want to find out what your home will sell for, how many buyers are in the market for it, and how long it'll take, I'd like an opportunity to uh, consult with you on that. It's always free. There's never any obligation to sell your home. And I even have three new things I can offer you to accommodate for this market. So I'm going to get all these uh, drawings off the picture here. But look, three new things. First of all, because you now have to make sure your home is in showing condition and in really good shape, because there's more listings and there's more homes for buyers to choose from, you wanna get your home ready to sell. 
If you can't afford to do that prior to selling it, I have a new program for you where you can actually make those updates and upgrades today and not pay for them till closing. It's real. I'll introduce you to the people who will do this for you. It's something I have to offer to you exclusively and right now. I don't know how long it'll last, but it's available right now. And whether you need repairs like a new roof or you just want to upgrade carpet and paint, do the work now, get your home sold for top dollar and pay for it at closing. Second thing is staging. So say your home's in great shape, but you just need some advice on how to stage it with what you have available in your house without spending money on new furniture and such. I have that for you too free staging advice that will help your home sell faster and for more money. Finally, I have a brand new buyer matching program. So when we get together, I can show you not only how many buyers, I can show you some specific buyers that are looking for a home like yours. So maybe even get a cash offer without putting it on the open market. But I can show you not only will I say, what every realtor says is, I have buyers for your home. Well, first of all, it's not true. They just put it in the MLS and then the buyers come. I can actually show you how many buyers are looking for a home like yours right now without it even being on the market. So if you're thinking about selling, please take me up on these offers. Again, happy to chat with you um, about that and all the other marketing we do free, no obligation to sell. If you're a home buyer in this market, how are you finding homes that are not on the internet? You can Google, you can search, you can use all the popular search websites. They all have the same thing. It's realtors that put their home in the information exchange and you're seeing the same homes over and over again. If you wanna find homes that are not available on the internet, please give us a call. Call, text, email anytime. Here's something else that's really cool. Another brand new system, um, and this is for buyers, a proprietary system. If you want to get a daily list of all the price reductions, I can send you that every single morning. That's right. If you want to see a list of all the homes that are experiencing price reductions today or in the past 30 days, and then every time they reduce their price again, I have that for you. It's a proprietary exclusive system. I can bring that to you just after we have a conversation. Again, it's free. There's no obligation to buy a home. I just need to know what you're looking for, where it is, and what price range. So please, if you're looking for some of these you know, better, special, and different ways to sell or buy your home, call, text, email anytime. Myself, someone from my team, we're real people doing real work for uh, buyers and sellers in this fast-changing market. We're happy to help. Like I said, call, text, email anytime. We'd love to chat. And thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend.